show from Artificial Ireland. And uh, a big hello to everybody today. We're into Tuesday now, and we're all getting a little bit older, and hopefully a little bit more wiser. As uh, I think now Greta should be back home now at this stage. That flight should have took her back home nicely. And uh, I don't know exactly how much kerosene was used on the flight. But of course, remember, maybe it wasn't kerosene, maybe it was solar panels. And she went back on solar airways. That's right, solar airways. So of course, um, yeah, now, ladies and gents, uh, the evolution now is telling us that we have to start listening to children dictating to us about climate change. And of course, remember, after the beast from the east, it became the climate change. And then before that, it was called global warming until we had the worst snow in 36 years, of course, but nobody says nothing about that. Anyway, folks, this is today is another day where we go in and become a detective and try to show everybody because they don't actually believe what's going on. So I says, well, maybe it's time to show human beings what I'm talking about. Ladies and gents, I use this as an example, an example of what the platforms have done since 2004. And I'll tell everybody again, because it's after getting much worse in the last couple of months. And don't ask me why it's got much worse, but I'm guessing that something big is on the way. Like 9-11 happens, Brexit, we've got a date of the uh, 21st of October. Now, all these social breakdowns that we're watching, I tend to use them as the dots. One dot is Hajibus. Another dot is Dorian. The other dots are the volcanoes that's erupting. I'm pumping out so much volcanic ash, it's unbelievable. But of course, when everybody's on Facebook, they couldn't care less. But if you live beside these volcanoes and you're told there's a good chance that it could kill you, I think the local people probably listen. But once it doesn't affect you, put your head back into the sand. Or wait. And then the farmer will come into the field and grab you. That's it. Buy the two little horns. If you're a sheep. And put you into the back of the cattle machine. And off he goes down to the market and sells you. And you can buy all day. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching the video today. You can see by the numbers what they're doing. And uh, I'll tell everybody again that... 2004 was the Boxing Day tsunami where ordinary people with mobile phones that were on holidays in Thailand, on holidays in Indonesia, on holidays around the Ring of Fire, were there recording their families. And there's that many videos that they couldn't take them all down because there would have been an uproar about it. Because a lot of people lost a lot of lives. Their families were taken and everything else that happened around the ring of fire that day thousands of people put their videos up and they've done all the documentaries all about it and they still show the documentaries every year just to remind everybody and you can go in to YT go in and watch YT's videos of people with their phone recording what was happening as the tsunami came in the two tsunamis that came in. Yeah. And watch all the people in Japan that recorded the tsunami on their mobile phones. Now, ladies and gents, there's two things I want you to do after this video. Go into Google and type in the earthquakes that happened in California a couple of weeks ago. Now, Today I want to ask you one question, viewers that are watching this video. What I want you to do is, if you find a video from a normal human being with a phone, can you copy the link to the video and put it up? 
or send it to me to aipaulydublin at gmail.com this is what I want you to do go in to Dr. Gugu and type in to the search box up the top type in earthquakes California 2019 Ridge Crest if you want to go one step further Ridge Crest Ridge Crest type that in now and tell me what do you see click on videos under the search box click on videos tell me what do you see so that's what you need to do today I want everybody that's watching this video to go in and type in earthquakes California 2019 Ridgecrest where they all happened mainly and if you find a video belonging to one person one human being that recorded it with their mobile phone can you tell me the link because I'm still looking I'm still waiting because I can't find it myself and then ladies and gents something that happened more recently where in Japan there's millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people with smart devices some some people have two of them now the toy film went on for a, a full day technically over a day so today also I want to ask everybody to go in to Dr. Gugu and type in Hajibus videos Hajibus videos now if somebody can find one video belonging to a normal human being that recorded it with their phone can they send me the link because this is what Polly seems to be finding when Polly goes looking maybe there's something wrong with me computers and that's using a Mac a Windows based computer uh, a, a, a J5 uh, an S10 and an iPad and guess what ladies and gents I can't seem to find them anywhere isn't that mad crazy hmm. now I'll tell you what I can find ladies and gents now maybe it's a conspiracy theory but I want everyone to have a look at it because everyone seems to think when you mention a conspiracy theory it's all made up so I want you all to go in and look at this because their proof is there because the clowns in artificial intelligence are playing this stupid game that once they get caught out there's nothing they can do about it nothing so they try to shut you down because Paulie's getting too intelligent and there's nothing we can do about it so even though we'll take everybody's video down and anybody that was went out of their way to record Hajibus because I guarantee you if Paulie seeing Hajibus coming through Dublin Paulie would be out with all the smart devices recording it and then Paulie would be uploading it straight away to his YouTube channel that's right isn't it that's what we normally do isn't it yeah where are they well where are they ladies and gents we're on the verge of something magnificent okay magnificent will be the word that we'll use today huge let's say 10 times worse than 9-11 okay call it fear mongering call it what you want but I can tell everybody now right now this minute that at the rate that these channels are being shut down we are on the verge of something magnificent and while all the human beings including myself try to live some sort of normal life and go to work pay our bills and survive something is going to happen people are sick and tired of telling everybody for a long time what's been happening what they're up to but nobody wants to listen we're told we're conspiracy theorists we don't know what we're talking about you know, go off and join a football team. Do something else. Don't be getting so stressed out about it. 
Ladies and gents, today we all still talk about Einstein. Okay, we all still talk about him. We still talk about Stephen Hawkins like he's alive. Why? Because they have the title scientist. And that's the difference, folks. Because you'll always listen to Mr. Scientist over some clown on YT's platform. Well, that clown on YT's platform is blue in the face at telling people how it's been going. And all you have to do, folks, is go in and go back down through all my videos and see that it's been getting closer and closer. Do you think they want everybody to know about the uh, aluminium? That's right. And everything else that's been sprayed into the atmosphere. Do you? No. 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 Anyway, look, I'll leave her at that. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Okay. In the meantime, all the best.